Welcome back, guys. We are outside again to talk about TRM Shadow. Honestly, guys, this is one of my favorite knives. Definitely my favorite by the TRM. It is, I mean, easy to deploy, easy to shut with the river lock. I got this uh, this one just a little bit ago, uh, the Merlot Micarta. I mean, it is the ergonomics of this thing. It's awesome. I mean, you can sit back here, choke up, easy. Slicey blade, super thin, 20 CV steel. I mean, what more could you want? Let's talk about it. All right, let's go over some specs on this thing. Blade length overall, 3.2 inches. 20 CV steel, like I said earlier. Uh, overall length, 7 three quarter inches. Closed length is going to be about 4.5 inches. Uh, weight, man, this thing is super light. It's 4 ounces. I mean, it is, it is a very light, uh, light situation here. It's got a titanium clip. Um, I've had no problem with the clip, no hot spots that I can, I mean, I'm able, I'm able to overlook that stuff for the most part. I don't, I'm not super nitpicky when it comes to, I mean, unless it's literally just pointed straight at my palm, sticking in there and I've got a, a sore every time I use it. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't pay too much attention to it, but the clip's pretty, pretty smooth. It's a good situation. I think it goes in and out of the pocket nicely. Uh, ergos, like I said, are amazing. I mean, you can grip this thing either way, choke up, go back, choke up. It's got plenty of, you know, all four fingers are on the handle. No issues there at all. Size comparisons. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'd say pretty average size knife. I mean, it's, it's maybe a little bit on the small side, but not too much. Uh, I've got it next to my Slim Midi here. It's, uh, about pretty comparable to it. The Griptilian, it's relatively, I mean, the Griptilian's got a little bit more length to it, uh, over it, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much comparable to it. Big boy comparisons. Let's see. You know, got to bust out the gigantic psychedelic purple boy, the Marauder H. Yeah, definitely towers over it. And then the um, SMF I just got. So there you go. I mean, there there are bigger knives than the TRM Shadow, but if you're not into the big knife game, this is seriously an awesome option. I mean, it's. I did a video earlier on the sliciness of it. This, I mean, just cuts it just plows through paper like no problem. Um, razor sharp right out of the box and I've taken this thing apart and I know I think they advise you not to do that obviously a lot of knife companies do do so but man it's it's you know usually a nightmare when you're gonna take apart uh, an access lock knife river lock knife however you want to call this I mean this is the river lock but we, we know them as access locks with the springs everything needs to go in just right it's it can be a nightmare um, and I was expecting it to be I was a little frustrated at first, but honestly, this thing goes back together so well. It's it's crazy. The the uh, the manufacturing on this thing is just, I think, superb. I mean, literally, there's little screws in the access lock that you unscrew, and you'll take those off as part of the uh, disassembly process. And man, I mean, it, it's it's actually it was actually very enjoyable to put to take apart and put back together I, I thought it was uh, it was nice it's just nice to know if I get uh, if I use this enough and it needs to be cleaned thoroughly I'm not gonna dread taking it apart reversible pocket clip too guys that's that's another awesome feature for all you lefties out there and I do have some other variations uh, actually currently on me the black one the first one I ever owned and love it and it does come in a green as well. They have the uh, titanium ones, all titanium ones. I would really love to get my hands on, but uh, right now, currently out of stock. I imagine those are tough to get. But they've got some awesome colors. Uh, I think there are some uh, there are other scale options you could buy. Uh, but man, so far I just have these these three here. I'm going to be selling this one, so 
uh, I'll just be down to the two. And if I ever do get a third one, it definitely will probably be uh, the all titanium body. Well, there you go, guys. That's my review on the TRM Shadow. I love this knife. I think it's awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. If you want a nice little pocket-friendly, lightweight slicer, this is definitely one to look into. Check out on their website. Uh, you look under the facts sections, uh, the frequently asked questions section, it'll tell you uh, some release dates. Uh, usually they update it every, uh, I'm assuming every week. So if you really want one, just pay attention to that. there. They'll let you know when to get one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll come out with some more stuff for you guys. Thanks again. Take it easy.